was finishing up some work at the back of the scraper when the owner came to pick up his machine. Apparently he didn't see me or my truck on the other side. I'll tell you what, I almost found out about proper lockout tag out procedures the hard way. Caterpillar machines generate an impressive amount of energy. On the job, they harness enough energy to move mountains. But when service is needed, in the shop or in the field, it's up to you to protect yourself and others by properly releasing stored energy, locking out any moving components, and placing service notification tags in visible places. In this video, we'll show you some general lockout procedures that apply to most Caterpillar machines and equipment. Take a look at lockout devices and tell where you can find reference material on lockout tagout procedures. While we cannot show you every Caterpillar machine being serviced, we will show you some representative techniques that apply to Caterpillar machines. Always consult the Caterpillar Operation and Maintenance Manual or the Disassembly and Assembly Manual for the machine you're servicing. It contains information you'll need to properly lock out a machine. Lockout means isolating energy sources, like electrical or hydraulic, to protect you from an unexpected release of energy whenever service is performed on equipment. Tagout means putting a tag in an obvious place to alert coworkers that a machine is locked out or being serviced and should not be used. Refer to the Caterpillar Disassembly and Assembly Manual for the equipment you're working with and be aware of safety warnings to ensure that the machine is correctly shut down, to isolate all potentially hazardous energy sources, and to lock out the machine properly so electrical and hydraulic energy sources cannot be re-energized accidentally. Remember, for your safety and the safety of others, never attempt to bypass a lockout or remove someone else's tag. There are several basic objectives in the lockout procedure that apply to most machines. The first is to ensure personal safety. Sometimes it's too easy to either forget or ignore personal safety equipment, such as a hard hat, safety glasses, and proper footwear. Always protect yourself by using this equipment. Also, before we start the actual procedure, have your service tags ready. You may see a number of different service tags and lockout tools. However, your shop probably has some standard ones that are used. Now let's get to the procedure. First, notify everyone in the immediate area that the machine or equipment will be locked for service. Begin by chocking the wheels if necessary. Remove the ignition key. While you're in the cab, hydraulic or pneumatic systems should be bled to release either pressure or vacuums. Exercise the controls and steering to let off any pressure that's stored in control lines. Apply the appropriate service tags in very visible positions in the cab to warn others not to operate the machine. Use as many tags as necessary. While exiting the cab, block access to all the controls and lock the cab if appropriate. Turn off the main disconnect switch, remove the key, and lock the access door. Don't forget to apply a tag to this compartment as necessary. Disconnect the machine from energy sources by performing the appropriate isolation steps. This may be as simple as removing the negative battery cable from the battery post. Be sure to prevent accidental contact between the battery and the post. Remember, some machines have more than one battery. Depending on what you're servicing, you'll need to get rid of stored or residual energy. Look for electrical energy, such as capacitors, which can be safely discharged. Make sure the genset is disconnected from all potential electrical hazards. Now before you start, take one more look around. Is anything up that needs to be lowered? Is anything moving that needs to be stopped? If you're servicing a running machine, make sure to keep away from moving components or parts. Be careful not to wear loose-fitting clothing. Again, always check the disassembly and assembly manual for the machine you're servicing 
It'll help you identify all sources of energy. Now you've completed the lockout tagout procedures and are ready to service the machine. Obviously, there are different ways to lock out different classes of machines. We can't show you every one, but here are some key tools and techniques you should be aware of. Always use proper blocking and cribbing techniques to immobilize your machine. After shutdown, move implement controls left and right and up and down to release any hydraulic pressure that might still be in the system. Some bracing bars are secured around the cylinder rod between the casing and the tool. Others clamp onto the cylinder rod to hold up the implement. Make sure you tighten the nuts securely. On trucks and wheel loaders, be sure to use the lock links. Properly installed, they'll prevent unexpected frame movement. Especially on larger machines, where someone might not notice another person is present, be sure to leave clear, obvious signs that the machine should not be used. Don't forget to read the warning labels and decals placed on the machine. They draw your attention to hazards and give you information about safety procedures. When restoring the machine, check that the transmission is in neutral and that all attachments will not operate once the engine is restarted. Remove all the physical bracing bars, lock levers and pins, and other lockout devices. Reattach the battery connections and replace the starter switch key. Then remove the steering wheel tag and restart the engine. Check all implements to be sure everything is working correctly. Let's review what we've shown you. Shut down the machine completely. Notify others that you're going to lock out the machine. Isolate the machine from energy sources. Dissipate sources of energy, electrical, hydraulic or pneumatic, potential or motion. And finally, Check that the machine is completely disabled before beginning your service. Remember, never remove or bypass someone else's lockout tag. Always consult the Caterpillar Operation and Maintenance Manual or Disassembly and Assembly Manual for the machine you're servicing. Always remember how powerful this equipment is and keep a healthy respect for what even a fraction of the energy can do. Fast, accurate service or repair is important but not as important as the health and well-being of you and your co-workers. To better equip yourself, here's some of the lockout safety devices and tags used in this video.